I've popped the windscreen out. I've not filmed that because that was done on the bodywork. Basically, you just take the trim out, the chrome strip out of the uh, window around the front, and then you need someone inside with a boot on the windscreen either side, gentle pressure, probably more than gentle pressure, um, even pressure at the top, and then you just pick the rubber down while you keep the pressure on, and eventually it just goes, took about five minutes. It's not quite so quick getting it back in. Anyway, that's on the bodywork DVD. I've sanded this up with 80 grit, ready to go. I've cut me a nice long strip of material off the end. So now we're gonna glue that up. Take me um, rubber gloves off. Now I'm cleanish. Get the glue. Get the cardboard, so I don't want it all over the paintwork. Stick that up. All the sun visors were already off because I stripped all that off before uh, we did the welding. The interior mirrors, just three screws. Sun visor clips. Oh, that landed on the, that landed on the bonnet anyway. Right, okay, let's see what we've got. It may go as well as the other one, it might not. I'm going to have a little bit of excess this side. Stick that on roughly in the middle. Find the hands round. It's threatening to, threatening to go uh, exactly how I want it. So in the corners, that's where we'll do a couple of cuts and use the hot air gun to get that round properly. But the bulk of it is oops, dirty hands there, that's a cleaning job. Get right up in the edge. All the way around the side. That's that. That really is easy. Looks fantastic. So as long as we sort the joins out properly, tidily, we should be looking at a very trick interior just by cutting a bit of material out and sticking it on. The dash is gonna be a little bit more complicated, I think, which is the main reason why the uh, windscreen had to come out. So um, we'll see what happens with that. Where's my knife gone? There like that. Split it in the wrong place. Sounds like the ice cream man. find some way of uh, making that join look pretty as we go further down the line. Right, when you your material that hangs over where you don't want, you just grab your knife, run it around, that's it, jobs are good. So hopefully now you can see that uh, this is really going to look good. And it's not complicated or brain surgery so far. Right, okay, so that's a bit of that. I shall finish uh, trimming the top off. 
I'll just cut a couple of little strips to go down the side, stick them on, and then we'll have a look at the um, dashboard and see what, uh, see whether it's going to uh, lend itself to being stretched and curved as much as it's going to need to be. Fingers crossed. Back in a minute. Right, I've stuck the uh, little bits of material up the side. That wasn't uh, very difficult. Same procedure for, as for the uh, top. Now I've started to pull the dash apart on the Morris Minor. You've got two of them, which you've got one, two, three. That one's come out. Three screws in the side. And you have to undo the front of the switches, all of them. One, two, three, four. And the choke cable. And uh, if you really want to take it all off, you can mark the uh, <coughs> mark where the uh, bulbs come out and pull all the wires off. Take the uh, dash clock off. This bit has to come off um, with the choke cable. So at the moment, I'm just leaving it hanging there because what I plan to do is glue the top on up to the top area um, and then get the windscreen back in. I don't like seeing things go backwards. Uh, the front windscreen can go back in before the headlining's up. So I think we're going to need the hot air gun for this. Um, Fingers crossed. I will just, uh, I'll just spray it with some glue and see what happens. Let's warm it up a bit. Right, that should warm that up. For a second actually while I spray the glue on so I don't go bang. And now we'll see what happens. what he looks like. Okay, so in we come with that. Bring it down. Got to make sure there's enough material on it to uh, cover everything. Good so far. Use the back of the knife to push it behind the clock. 